The pandemic has crashed the Indian economy. In the April to June period, the gross domestic product contracted by 23.9%, almost 24%. The GDP is an indicator of economic health. And 23.9% is the sharpest contraction on record. That's not all. The pandemic has pushed India into its fourth recession since independence. But the first since liberalization in the early 1990s. This is India's first GDP contraction in nearly 40 years. GDP contraction means negative growth. This is also the first time that most core sectors witnessed a collapse, all except agriculture. Take a look at the contraction. These are the numbers. Manufacturing down by nearly 40%, construction by 50%, hospitality and transportation also down by close to 50%. Agriculture was the only bright spot. It saw a growth of 3.4%, but India's farm sector alone could not offset the slip in other sectors. What is the reason behind this kind of economic carnage? Well, most of India and the world went into a severe lockdown in the April to June period. Most economic and business activity came to a grinding halt. In the month of May, India had announced a $266 billion stimulus package. Free food to the weak and poor, jobs for migrant workers, credit guarantees on bank loans and relief to small businesses. But that has not helped cushion the fall. The economy is still crawling out of the lockdown. Finance Minister Nirmala Sitharaman perhaps saw this coming. Just a few days back, she said, and I quote, you're facing an act of God, which might even result in a contraction of the economy. So here it is, Indian economy's worst contraction on record. But it's not just India's worst ever quarter. Some of the world's largest economies have not been able to bear the brunt of the pandemic. In the April to June period, the same period, the US economy contracted by 32.9%. The United Kingdom was down by 20.4%. Japan, 27.8%. So what's the road ahead for the Indian economy? Will this pain persist? The chief economic advisor, Krishnamurthy Subramaniam, expects a recovery once India comes completely out of the lockdown. But he also expects the uncertainty to remain until the pandemic is completely brought under control. India has finally lifted interstate movement of vehicles as goods and services move across the country freely. The Indian economy should begin, begin its upward climb. But this will be a tough climb. India's woes will not end in a hurry. The economy is expected to contract by 6% in 2020.